Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy FDA Dash and Trader driving down the road. I want to tap in with y'all for a second. Let's talk. Dash drivers should not be driving for 12 plus hours per day. Now I know it's gonna be a lot of folks out there that disagree with this, but let's go ahead and dive into it. What is a safe amount of time to be driving per day? Well, that's gonna depend person by person, situation by situation. But I'm gonna tell you this: most of us out there do out here doing DoorDash. You know, we work in, we drive in and out of our car, picking up, dropping off orders. But throughout the day, we own, we, 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 we start to become fatigued. We start to become fatigued. I'm gonna use myself as an example. I'm gonna drive for about four hours at peak performance. After the four hour mark, my performance, as far as driving, is gonna steadily decline. I'm gonna be less alert, less aware, less able to look at my phone and keep my eyes on the road. Not to mention if I'm multi-apping. So how is it safe to be out there driving 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours straight? It makes no sense. And another thing, sitting in your car, that can be draining as well, as much as actually driving and picking up the order. So I wanna pose a question to you guys, DoorDash drivers. How many hours per day, per shift, at a time are you driving? Are you one of these maniacs out here driving 12 plus hours a day? <laughs> Acting like that shit cool? Cause it ain't. And I'm not saying you can't drive for 12 hours a day, but you gotta be smart about it. Break it up. Drive for four hours at a time, go home, take a break. Park, take a break, take a nap. Recuperate, get your meter back on full. You know what I'm saying? But to drive for 10 hours straight, 12 hours straight, what are we doing out here? Why are we risking the, the safety of others and, and ourselves out on the road to delivering chicken nuggets and, 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 and happy meals and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got Walmart Spark on right now. I've been out driving for like two and a half hours. And technically, for the first four hours, I drove all the way to St. Louis to get gas at Sam's Club. It's like 60 cents cheaper. But I'm, I'm factoring all that in. I'm like, okay, well, if I'm driving get in the gas, come back, knock out a couple orders. It's been two and a half hours. I got about an hour and a half before I start to feel the effects of driving. Cause no matter what I've been doing, I've been in this car and I've been, and I've been, you know, making motoristic decisions. I don't even know if that's actually a word, motoristic decisions. But what I'm saying is DoorDash driver. Let's start to put limits on how much we driving. If nothing else for safety. Now I know some people gonna be like, hey, we're well, trade. I got to pay these bills. I got rent due, yada, yada, yada. I need to go buy me some special rock from my special rock associate around the way. Look, I get it, you need your money, but is it worth it if you get into some type of vehicular accident? Is it worth it if you incur additional wear and tear on your car? Maybe you driving late night, you hit that nail, you hit that pothole, you know what I'm saying? So we really gotta take into account and into consideration. What is a safe amount of time to be driving? How can we be safer when we out here driving? How can I break up that shift so that I can still hit my goals, but I'm not out here half fucking sleep? This is the, these are the types of things we need to be focusing on, guys. How can I hit my goals as safe as possible? I'm taking my black ass home right now. And they keep sending me orders too. Ain't nothing making me turn around. And, and I'm not saying pass up that banger order that you barely ever get to see because it's time for you to go take a, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, we need to be more considerate of what the hell we doing out here. We are delivering hot dogs, shopping for COVID tests, picking up cases of water, you know what I'm saying? Delivering burrito supremes, taco bucks, coffees. Look, we should not be doing this shit for 12 hours straight. It don't matter if it ain't no regulations set up to prevent us from driving excessively. We need to take it upon ourselves and say, you know what? I need to put parameters on my driving time. So if nothing else, I'm not out here looking like a goddamn DoorDash zombie trying to deliver a $2 order on our number 11. Now listen, I know this video is not what you thought it was gonna be, but guess what? It's what the fuck you getting. Come on, man. Go take a break. Go, go to your park, pull up, turn the vehicle off, and take a damn nap instead of driving for 10 hours straight. School, school's in session. You got buses out in the morning, buses out in the afternoon, after evening. 
public transportation, all types of stuff going on out here. Just make safe decisions, delivery drivers. That's all I'm saying. This is this video, I ain't even finna edit this mug. I got you, homie. I'm just gonna put it out. Cause that's how important this is. Go sit your goofy ass down somewhere. Stop driving for 12 hours straight. It ain't safe, okay? Break it up. Do four hours here. Maybe go home, take you a little break. Maybe a little nap for about an hour. Go back out. Hit the prime times. You know, hit that breakfast shift hard. Three hours, three and a half hours. Boom, come back, hit them for two in the lunch shift, and then work the 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 beginning of the busiest time of the dinner shift. Maybe you don't even start your dinner shift about seven o'clock, because you want to work about five hours, right? Get you about 10, 11 hours total for the day. I get it. And that's probably going to put more money in your pocket anyway. Stop working 12 hours straight. It's dumb. It's straight up dumb, okay? Use more apps so you can hit your goals sooner. Do that. I would much rather multi-app with four apps for four hours and hit my goal and then single app with one. Well, that's, that is the name of it. I would rather do that than single app for, for nine hours, hitting, making the same money. We got to be smarter out here, guys. Now, look at this order I just got. $54. You see it? $54. What'd that say? 40 miles. No. That order say two hours and 24 minute estimated time. You see it? Two hours and 24 minutes. I already been out here for a two and a half. I'm not wasting my five hour time block doing that batched order with 20 different stops. It just don't make no sense. So listen, what that's drive. Stop driving for 12 hours straight with your goofy ass. Split that shit up. Be safe. Use some more apps to hit your goals. Dirty stack. Fuck these customers, bruh. Dirty stack them orders to make your money. At least you being safe. Don't, don't compromise your vehicle, your sanity, your mental for a $5 chicken nugget order. It don't make no sense, y'all. Listen, I'll catch you in the next one. I'm about to pull up and take me my break. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and turn this spark off. Boom. And I got some free toilet paper today. Check it out. Bow, stop playing with me. We keep them busy. Now they want to actually make money too. They asking for too much. They asking for too much. Pick up the order, drop it off. That's all you got to do. You thought we wasn't finna be back? We yeah, we back. only pay the drivers $2. So what? And they better drop that order off and take a picture or we might give them a violation. So real quick before I finish out this video, thanks for being here. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Checking out the channel. You see, I'm right here editing this video that you're watching. I'm actually going to throw a couple more things onto the end of it just because I want to make this video a little bit longer. I only got about seven minutes of footage right here. So what I'm going to do is throw some things on the end right here. We're going to throw in a DoorDash intro on the end right there. Boom. And then we also going to throw in this little funny... Let me see, evil DoorDash bag. I love doing that. And then that's going to stretch us out to about seven minutes right there. I may have to do a little bit of, little bit of chopping up right there. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we're going to chop that up just a little bit right there. Let me see. Boom, boom. If you made it to the end of the video, let me know you part of the end of the video game. And drop some of them emojis down below. Let's see, let's trim that up a little bit. And then we're going to add this to the end of the video. And that should give us about 10 minutes worth of footage. You know, I got to get all that Google AdSense. I ain't playing no games. Hold up. There we go. Let's trim that up a little bit. Boom. Boom. One more. Boom. Ain't going to let me trim that one up. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Now we looking good. 